This is Roger Struckoff with Syscon TV. We're on day two at Cloud Expo in Santa Clara. Cloud Expo, Things Expo, DevOps Summit. We got a lot going on here. And uh, right now, it's driven by innovation. Did you know that? And right now, we're sitting here with Ian Khan, who is head of innovation and marketing at Solgenia. Ian, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, man. What do you innovate? What's your what's in your world? All right. Well, in our world, there's a lot of cloud. So, uh, you know, being at the cloud conference here in Santa Clara, it's amazing to see there's so many companies that are that are really positioned and they're dedicated about producing solutions about the cloud to solve a myriad of thousand problems that the cloud users are facing. Uh, our focus really, if you want to ask me what are we innovating and what are we doing, our focus really is to help uh, companies who are who are bogged down by the, by the enormousness of the cloud and infrastructure to really go out there and monetize the cloud. Uh, our focus is to help organizations take that applications, put it on the cloud, and generate a revenue model out of that cloud. And not, not a lot of companies are doing this right now. So really, we're focused on bringing out uh, the financial benefits that can come through the cloud, uh, keep aside the infrastructure, keep aside uh, the functionality and all the big buzzwords. For us, it's about helping other companies enable their cloud and monetize it. You think sometimes the, the issue looks so big they're just sort of paralyzed and they just have difficulty seeing what the opportunity is, but you can come in from the outside and help them see? Absolutely. To a huge extent, uh, we need to realize that you know technology has has progressed at such a, far, a fast rate uh, that we, we sometimes get lost in the big names and the things that they do. But the average company has to find a way and a mean to generate profit, to generate revenues at the end of the day, no matter what technologies you're using. Our goal really has been to help everybody to, to do that, how do you really translate and block out the noise of uh, you know, of technology and and start thinking about profitability on the cloud? Uh, let's talk about uh, I am an app developer or a solution provider. Yes, so how will it drive my revenues? Forget the technology. Yeah, you know they're not really seeing things. You you can you can come in and, and maybe see things that they maybe have not thought of because they're just focused on the cloud without really thinking. Absolutely, and this is what we do. We've uh, had a great success with uh, a huge telecom provider in Europe, and uh, they're using us for this precise reason, is to ignore the technology side and to, to more leverage the business side of things and to kind of find a way to generate revenues uh, in a new way uh, on the cloud, and we did that for for this uh, you know for this telecom provider in a very unique way. Uh, we enabled the applications for them. Uh, we enabled uh, the cloud for them, and now they're on their way to generating a new revenue stream through the cloud, powered by our solutions. I was just going to ask if you give an example like that. That's great. Uh, do you have um, uh, other customers? Maybe they're not so large. Is this something that you know companies that are, that are a little smaller can take advantage of too? Or uh, what sort of companies do you like to work with best? Uh, we are right now. We're targeting uh, large enterprises, uh, ISPs, uh, telcos, and uh, really the solution offering right now is customized or catered towards the large, large enterprise. Uh, having said that, we do have our own uh, public cloud platform that offers services for the SMB market, for the mid market. So we do have our offerings for the for that particular segment uh, within the market. But as far as enabling uh, smaller companies to uh, you know to enable their cloud. It's, I think it's still going to take some time purely because of the investment that it requires and the smaller companies might not be able to do that uh, uh, in the start. Now, do you think that sometimes companies are um, worried about their investment? They, they sort of feel like for competitive advantage or for whatever reason they need to be aggressive with cloud, but then they worry that what's, what's the ultimate purpose and return? Is that the sort of mindset or how, how do you approach them and get them thinking this way? Are we talking about the large companies yeah, or the smaller? Yeah, the, small, the large companies. The larger companies, yeah. absolutely. So so what, what we've seen happen in the market is that companies, let's say they have a lot of cash, they've got a lot of revenue, but then if you forecast that for the next 2, 5, 10, 15 years, you really don't see that expanding a lot. And they come up with a mental block as to, well, how are we going to dramatically increase our revenues if this is the forecast and this is the business model? So it's about changing the business model. Uh, so what we do is we come in and we analyze their business and we talk about, hey, this is the way to, to kind of create a new revenue stream through the cloud. 
this is how, in addition to what you're doing right now, you could leverage uh, the cloud and you know build a solution on the cloud, have it on a consumption basis, and start a continuous revenue stream based on the cloud. And that's what we do. And since we come, we, we most of the times, well, all the time, we're a party that's external. We're able to come up with a fresh insight, you know, kind of the out of the box thinking. And uh, so far, we've been very successful. And then with the smaller companies, though, there might be more of a concern about uh, the actual expenditure per se. Instead of, you know, well, let me just ask. You know, you're looking in the future a little bit of more of the smaller, medium-sized companies. What is their thinking compared to the large companies with their investments in cloud? Yep. Uh, so the smaller companies obviously are uh, investment conscious. Yeah. Uh, you know, revenues have, have 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 kind of slowed down. The revenue streams have slowed down over the past few years, and they're still slowly catching up. But uh, I think the smaller companies, small mid market, they're still very budget conscious, very money conscious. But the ones who who realize the potential they can have through uh, monetizing the cloud see the light. Uh, and there are companies that we're working for, uh, which are relatively smaller, uh, and we are working with them uh, to kind of enable the cloud for them. Uh, you know, in addition to working with the larger enterprises, we are we do have a separate division that deals with the smaller enterprises yes. to kind of help them build the cloud, get on the cloud. There definitely is that aspect. But the challenge now is to help, uh, you know, spread that information and get people to start thinking in a different way uh, and, and kind of overcome the hype cycle with the cloud right. it's about it's about uh, taking that opportunity and seizing that opportunity right now right. yeah get past the hype cycle see the light they've seen the light their customers have seen the light now you can see the light we've been sitting here for uh, for a little bit with Ian Khan who is head of innovation and marketing at Solgenia thank you very much for joining us thank you for watching for Syscon TV this is Roger Strokoff